Claude, what I call him? Keys. I'm down. I got one. Oh, oh, Chip the tongue. Nope. Yeah, it's beautiful. That's cool. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> Give him back. Out here to see the big guy. His name's Claude. Oh, he's a cave. Welcome to this California cold rush. We're out on the North Yuba. Garrett Dan, somewhere, I think he's grabbing his pack right now. We got Josh Black, and Josh right now. Two Joshes today, double Joshed. Whoa! Oh, this ran uh, like a three quarters of a bucket of unclassified. A nice little flake, a bunch of finds. There's a flake right there. Just came down. A lot of black sand in there. First couple of ripples. We're looking like a pretty good spot. Another nice flake in there. A second clean out. Two buckets unclassified. A couple of nice chunkies in there. See all the evidence over here, all the hand stacked workings running through here. The little Chinese workings. And there's some rose bushes around here that the old time has planted too, which is pretty cool. Taking a little poke around. I gotta go up to the car. Got some new folks down here today too, so we got them some Mind Lab swag. Swing in the gold monster, you like it? Uh, I love it. Here you go. There's a hat. Thanks. I got, a, I got a gator for you even though you're swinging a dirty gold bug. <laughs> I want to throw it there. What is this? It's one of those neck gator things. Oh, sweet. Thanks. See anything good? Yeah. Yeah. yeah a couple great pans, all right. Got a couple pickers already. But I want more. Yeah. I want more. All right, well, Brittany from Gold King left a little while ago, and uh, we started pushing upriver. And there's actually some really nice looking bedrock over here. Lots of thorn bushes tripping me up though. Oh man. But uh, look, like I got a lot of targets over here with the 5000. There's a ton of steel in the ground. So it's making it really hard for digging. And it's not just small steel, there's big stuff in here. Like railroad ties and hydraulic lines. And what do you see? There's a nice outcrop of bedrock over here with a bunch of cobble up on top. So. We got like probably another hour. We started late today. We didn't get going till like 10. We got like another hour probably. That must have threw some pans over here and see what we get. And we might end up back down in uh, Nugget Country tomorrow. So, we'll see what we get. All right. Just did another pan. A nice little piece. Just digging right over by that rock. See, there's this little spot here and there's a little bush in here. It has always been there for a bit. Some good material underneath it. I'm gonna do a couple of pants. Yeah. Nice Two nice pan. guys. 
That's so yeah, crevice. Well, That's got a nice little guy too. Back in. Yeah, dump it out. Yeah, yeah I told you. Big enough to keep. You, as soon as you get the stairs I'll done, here's in there for you. Stairs done to go back up, and you can start keeping some gold. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> There's another pan. Another couple more pickers in there. A few pokers, pecker, a bunch of dust. Well, I mean, I don't have to. I don't have to film a show. I just come out and dig all day. I don't have to do a monologue. You don't have to answer questions. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, we got a couple good spots to deposit right here. Yeah. Josh is killing it on the pans. You gotta have at least four or five grams now, all together. When we after I see a little piece of VG right there. Right there, right above my finger. A little piece of gold. All right, well, I'm five pans in. Doing pretty good. Then uh, my hole is kind of petering out, so I might move on up there. I'll move on down there. Well, Josh is back on the gold. Back on it. But you fly shit and I get the two nice guys. All right, there you go. Right. Keep going down in there. Want a dank bod? I don't know, bud. Looks pretty good. Pretty fucking cold. <laughs> it's definitely, <laughs> definitely cold. Definitely cold. As soon as that sun pops up, though, hopefully it'll be a little warmer. We got an early start today. They say the early bird gets the worm. Well, we're the early cats that get the birds that get the worms. All right, so I abandoned that hole over there. My gold was kind of dropping out. So over here, I've got these two trenches. And I did a few pans out of there yesterday. It was pretty good. And then I got a couple nice flakes right on that area where I just cleaned. And you can see the root going underneath there to this. I'm going to break that off. There's some good material under there. I just did a test pan from there on the back side of the shelf, and it was pretty good. So I'm going to give my hands a few minutes to warm up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I saw some good moss up over here. I'm gonna do a pan of moss and see what I can figure uh, how much gold is in the moss down here. And that'll give me some options to keep my hands warm here and there. As you can see, there's little moss blobs everywhere. And I saw some big ones up here. So I'm gonna go up there now and take those off and we'll pan it out and see what we get. When I look for the moss, I look for stuff that you can see the, the little bit of sand in it. And you obviously look for an area where the, the gravel's been getting pushed up and over. And that makes all this uh, moss, like miner's moss in a sluice box, and it just kind of traps that fine gold. And uh, you can even find flakes in this stuff, too. You know, you just pull it off, nice big chunk, toss it in your pan. If you want, you can come back and clean off the bedrock also. And I'll just tear it up. Give it a little brush. Pick it up. You'd be amazed at how much gold is in, in moss. At least in California. I know it's not like that everywhere. But you can at least give it a try when you get to an area. Especially a bigger river. Uh, and you can find out if there's any gold coming down just by doing a couple pans of moss. Great way to test. And obviously you don't want to go and strip all the moss off, but it doesn't hurt to take some. Alright, I'm finished loading this pan and I'll pan it out in front of the camera. Not bad for a pan of moss. A bunch of fines in there, a couple little flakes. I'll take that for an easy pan, warm up the hands.
So got the material just coming up over this. This is the spot I just uh, worked out. I got a little bit more material to take out, but you see it's a nice big shelf here. There was a tree digging uh, some kind of bush coming out right here. There's a root, but there's still a good amount of material underneath there. So what I think I'm going to try to do is pop this or at least try to scratch some more out of there because I think that's where those bigger pickers are coming from is underneath that. I got good consecutive gold in every pan, but I think the biggest stuff is uh, trapped up underneath this, and I got a little bit of good gold right in here yesterday. I guess Josh just got a nice pan too. We're going to check it out. Oh, picker picker. Oh, nice guy there. Yep. Nice. A lot of gold here. You guys want to be able to find out where I am and have access to this. You need to get a hold of Josh Renke on Facebook. Alright, so it's about 10 o'clock right now. We're both doing pretty good. Josh got some nice pieces. I'm doing pretty darn good myself. Uh, I'll show you the gold now. Well, that's where I'm at for lunchtime. Not bad. Nice looking gold. Some fine, some chunkies, pokers, pickers. This is Pickers Paradise 2.0. I get a little bit more material I can take out of over here. Moving a little rocks and overburden away, but my pans back over here have started to drop out. I'm gonna hit this crevice here. There's a big hole there, I fill back in. There, there, there. It's all down to bedrock. All in here. here and then I dug some over in there we're getting gold in every pan but the bigger pieces seem to be dropping off so we have all too much sun left and probably another hour two hours tops though so, might just do some moss or try to find a nice packed crevice somewhere Let's see what we can come up with Josh is doing pretty good over in his hole still this will be a great spot to come dredge or snipe. There's all types of nice little pockets everywhere. And you see this big gravel bar running through the middle here. And you get another outcrop of bedrock right there. So it's made a huge pocket right here. The bedrock's only probably a foot and a half down, two feet, because there's an outcrop right there. It'd be a great spot to come and uh, do some dredging. Definitely some sniping too. Looks like over in that corner there's a bunch of spots that you could be sniping in. Not bad. Decent pan. I'm not satisfied. Mm -hmm. Not enough. One of 18. 18. 18 yeah. Mark. We're gonna see Mark tomorrow, so. Yeah, I need to show him something. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I'll start working on the stairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Better get yourself some gold spray paint. Pick a nice looking rock. You think you know the difference? No. Mark? Definitely yeah. not. Hell no. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, you're a fool, Mark. <laughs> Josh just had a really good point. 
I hope PD's gonna be happy with my gold from this vacation. And uh, I missed that little bugger. He should be here with me. But uh, I wasn't gonna stick him on the plane. You know, PD wouldn't like that. We can't do that to our dog. When we're out here, we'll pick him up some gold anyway. I think he's gonna be pretty happy. I have to block the sun, but it's right there. Right by my finger. Is that VG? Yep. Just a little speck. Bottom and I can't get the material out. I don't have a brush, but did really well. I'll take you over and show you the rest of the gold that I got for the second part of the day. It's not nearly as much, but uh, they're chunky pieces, so they add up. Josh did really well too. And then uh, we got a uh, two more days of digging on this two-week Uncle Adam's Outdoor Adventure California Gold Rush with Josh and Chad. Chad went home a week early. He had a bad case of the poison oak, which if you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll know I had a pretty bad boat myself the first year I was out here. It happens. But uh, me and Josh, we got uh, one more really cool adventure on Saturday with a big group of guys again, Placer County Gold Miners again. We're gonna go out to the hydro pits that we were at. I don't know if I put that video out or not yet, but we went already. We're gonna go back there again, do some more detecting in the big pit, and uh, actually do some panning and sluicing too, way up top the mountain. So we're gonna probably take one day tomorrow, relax, get showered up, because we've been uh, two weeks in the mountains, get some actual real food. Big shout out too to RelicRecoverist.com, Drew and Jocelyn. Uh, sponsored me on this trip with this mine lab gear. <laughs> I take it there was nothing in that one? Big nugget? Big one. I think I could lift it by myself. That's why it fell, right? <laughs> Dropped it, yeah. Hand broke. <laughs> That's my second half of the day gold. Couple chunkies, one, two, three, four pokers, uh, some medium size horse fly poos, and uh, yeah, some some powder. Not bad. Over a gram for the day. Beautiful location. And this is Josh's gold for the day. Some chunkies. This one's got some quartz in it, it looks like. Oh, yeah. That's a nice piece, too. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad for easy gold. Yep, put it back. Put it back, don't get trouble. All right, well, that's it for this California Gold Rush. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button, share it, subscribe, do all that stuff that everybody always says to do. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. We got a bunch of exciting stuff coming up this year. So far, this has been a great start to a new year. A bunch of good adventures, meeting some new people. Uh, and I hope uh, to meet some new subscribers on YouTube this year.